Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And if you've already done so, just make sure that it's still active. Today we present you with five banned WWE superstars Vince McMahon secretly wants back and five that Triple H wants back. With the WWE's checkbook being matched only by AEW, the McMahon-led promotion has the money and power to attempt to sign anyone they want. Over the years, the company has seen plenty of wrestlers become legends under their watch, with names like The Rock, Kurt Angle, and John Cena all getting their big breaks in WWE. Though WWE is the top game in town, the company has seen plenty of superstars gone for a variety of reasons, though we all know never to say never when it comes to WWE. Vince McMahon has never been afraid to bring stars back in the past, and as his son-in-law Triple H moves closer to controlling the company each year, the King of Kings could even bring back some superstars McMahon has banned from ever returning. Here are five banned WWE superstars Vince McMahon secretly wants to bring back, as well as five superstars Triple H wants to bring back when he takes over. Number 10. Eva Marie When Eva Marie was released from WWE in 2017, many fans were delighted. Joining the company as part of Total Divas, many fans saw her as someone using wrestling to launch a bigger career in other forms of media, ones where she wouldn't have to take bumps. Debuting with no wrestling ability, Marie did improve in the ring, though many thought she hadn't gotten far enough when she was sent packing from the company after four years. In February 2019, the former Total Divas star was reported as being in talks with returning to the company, saying, There has been emails and talk and exchanges back and forth. There has definitely been talks for sure. We feel that it'd be Vince who wants Marie back, as Triple H is much more so behind women's wrestling than his father-in-law, and Marie continues to be seen as a diva in an era of women. Number 9. Mr. Kennedy With great mic skills, in-ring ability, and natural charisma, Mr. Kennedy had all the makings of a future world champion, though injuries and backstage issues with superstars higher up the totem pole than he cost him that chance. After a match with Kennedy left Randy Orton dazed, the legend killer demanded that the Green Bay Loudmouth be punished, and after Orton recruited John Cena, Kennedy was sent packing in 2009. A sad end to his WWE career, but it may not be the end after all, as Triple H has shown he is more than willing to give superstars a second chance. Look at former WWE Champion Jinder Mahal or even Drew McIntyre, who returned to prominence in WWE as part of NXT. Kennedy being on the developmental brand could prove wonders for his career and the careers of others, as he brings his knowledge from years in the business to the next generation. If nothing else, the game may bring back the loudmouth just to avoid seeing Kennedy go to AEW, as an established star like the former United States Champion could also drum up views for Raw and SmackDown if he didn't go to NXT. Number 8. Alberto Del Rio Since leaving WWE in 2016 after backstage issues and a wellness policy suspension, Alberto Del Rio hasn't exactly done himself any favors regarding a possible return. On social media, Del Rio repeatedly mocked Triple H, and though the former world champion has claimed that he has made peace with the game, we can't see Triple H wanting him back anytime soon. Vince McMahon, on the other hand, could be the reason fans see Del Rio in a WWE ring again, as Alberto has said he has always had a good relationship with the chairman. Though he has just started his own lucha promotion, it wouldn't be too shocking if Del Rio returned especially if he got a sweet contract from the boss. A fantastic character worker with impressive in-ring ability, there's no shortage of reasons why Vince wouldn't want the former champion back, especially as Del Rio could bring an old-school heel vibe back to a company where many bad guys are nowadays cheered. With Triple H rising more to power each year, though, the clock is ticking for Alberto Del Rio. Number 7. Paul London as a former WWE Tag Team, World Tag Team, and Cruiserweight Champion, Paul London impressed fans on a weekly basis with his incredible agility. Now age 39, London still has some years left in his career, and joining Triple H's Project 205 Live would be an excellent move for him and the brand. The only thing stopping him might be Vince McMahon, 
as London was fired in 2007 for smiling on screen moments before McMahon's limo exploded in June with the boss inside it. Seen as unprofessional conduct, London's contract was quickly terminated, and though it's been over 12 years since then, don't be surprised if Vince is still holding a grudge. With some years left in him, London could be a great addition to WWE and could even reunite with former tag team partner The Brian Kendrick as another team for the company's tag division. Number 6. AJ Lee Before the women's revolution took WWE by storm in mid-2015, there was AJ Lee, arguably the greatest Divas champion of all time, who helped carry the brand as its champion for a combined 406 days. Leaving the company after WrestleMania 31, a year after her husband CM Punk walked out of the company, Lee retired in her 20s and now, at the age of 32, still has some years in the ring left in her. During the run-up to WWE's first all-female pay-per-view Evolution last year, reports came out that McMahon personally called AJ to ask her to come back for the historic event, though she obviously didn't appear. Though she didn't return in October 2018, McMahon isn't known for giving up so easily, so it wouldn't surprise anyone if the chairman continued to offer Lee better and better contracts. It definitely seems like it'd be McMahon who brings AJ back to the fold, especially when you consider the continued beef between her husband CM Punk and Triple H. With stars like Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Charlotte Flair, and Bayley around, there's no shortage of great opponents for AJ if she ever was to return. Number 5. Jack Swagger Though he may be a former ECW United States and World Heavyweight Champion, Jack Swagger's career in WWE didn't exactly set the world on fire. Released in 2017, many fans were shocked that Swagger stayed in the company for so long, but the All-American American has done plenty since departing. Recently, Swagger started his MMA career, competing for Bellator where he is currently undefeated. With Triple H signing MMA stars to NXT in the past like Matt Riddle and the Four Horsewomen, it wouldn't be too surprising if the game brought Swagger back as well. Back in WWE, Swagger could completely reinvent himself as someone who left the company as a jobber and returned as a serious contender. This turnaround mirrors Drew McIntyre's return to WWE in 2017, and no doubt Swagger and the game would be hoping for the same success for the former Money in the Bank winner if he chose to come back. Number 4. Big Cass When Big Cass split with Enzo Amore in 2017, it was clear Vince McMahon had a lot of confidence in the 7-footer. The split was made to make Cass into a main event type player, and though an injury halted that push, his return the following year and subsequent feud with Daniel Bryan showed the boss still liked the huge superstar. Fired shortly after though for going off script and attacking a person of short stature on the May 1st edition of SmackDown, reports of unprofessional conduct about Cass quickly followed, as the former NXT star rubbed many people backstage the wrong way. Given McMahon's love for big superstars in the past though, as well as his support for the 7-footer in 2017, Cass may make a return to the company still, especially if he keeps his nose clean and delivers entertaining matches now that he's part of the independent scene. Whether fans would accept Cass back is a different matter, but it's plausible that the chairman wants the certified G to return. Number 3. Wade Barrett in 2016, Wade Barrett made a huge gamble when he chose to ask for an early release from his WWE contract, which was granted. Since then, the former Intercontinental Champion has only done a handful of things in wrestling, including working as an authority figure in Britain's world of sport wrestling promotion and joining Lucha Underground late last year. Though it seems Barrett is doing just fine outside of WWE, there's always a chance of the former King of the Ring winner returning even as just a nostalgia act. Much like Del Rio, Barrett carries himself as an old-school heel, willing to avoid acrobatic maneuvers that may get him cheered. It's that old-school mentality that could make the King of Bad News a vital asset to WWE and maybe help bring in some fans who have stopped watching in the process. Number 2. CM Punk CM Punk continues to be a huge name in wrestling even five years after he walked out of the company in 2014. Leaving in a whirlwind of controversy, Punk hasn't even hinted at a WWE return, but that hasn't stopped the company, and Vince McMahon especially, from wanting him back. 
Earlier this year, rumors circulated about WWE actively trying to sign the former world champion back, though that may be easier for Vince to accomplish than his son-in-law. Since his release, Punk has been vocal in his problems with the game. And though it doesn't look like Punk will ever step foot in a WWE ring again, it's clear that McMahon would be ready to see the Straight Edge star return, especially at a time when the company faces dwindling ratings as well as the rise of AEW. Special Mention Santino Marella Jim Cornette once said that funny doesn't draw money, but that doesn't seem to be the case with Santino Marella. After joining the main roster as a plant in the crowd in 2007, Morello would become Intercontinental Champion before becoming a jealous heel due to his girlfriend Maria's Playboy cover. As a heel, Santino would become one of WWE's funniest stars, and even attempted to break the Honky Tonk Man's record-setting reign as IC Champ with his hilarious Honkometer. To entertain the fans with both his acting chops and his in-ring skill, it's hard to see any reason why Vince McMahon or Triple H wouldn't want to bring back the Milan Miracle in 2019. With the new 24-7 championship seeing a surge in comedy in WWE thanks to the likes of R-Truth and Drake Maverick, Santino would make a great champion as well as perform hilarious stunts for the company on a daily basis. Number 1. Austin Aries when Austin Aries left WWE after a frankly underwhelming run, nobody was really that surprised. The former TNA World Champion has even admitted himself that he deserved to be let go, after proving to be difficult to handle backstage. Part of Aries' frustration comes from his feud with then-Cruiserweight Champion Neville in 2017, as though the duo had an entertaining series of matches, Aries never won the gold. Feeling he should have won the purple title, Aries came up against Vince McMahon, then the man in charge of the 205 Live brand, who just didn't see Aries as the right star. With the show now being under Triple H's rule once again, the WWE COO would clearly be thrilled to see the self-proclaimed greatest man who ever lived come back, as the game made a huge effort to get Aries in the WWE in the first place, and doesn't want to see all that time go to waste. Well guys, that's our list. If you can think of any other former superstars that Triple H or Vince McMahon might be interested in signing, drop us a comment below and let us know. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our previous video, 15 Wrestlers Who Quit WWE Out of Frustration, Vince Furious with John Moxley and CM Punk for Leaving. Also check out our other high-rated videos by clicking at the upper right-hand corner or down in the description field. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss a single new video. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, thank you for watching.